to a broadcast of Jerusalem's Gate. Got some, uh, not breaking news, but news that came out today. Uh, the Parliament and uh, Iran, the body of legislators, uh, voted to increase the uranium enrichment uh, storage on their uh, nuclear program in Iran. Uh, we had the of course the assassination of their top nuclear scientists and uh, they're looking for uh, uh, an atomic weapon <laughs> there's no way to you know beat around the bush about it you know I, I've reported for many years that Iran is on a pursuit to get nuclear weapons because they want to counterbalance the power in Israel they do not want Israel being the only nuclear weapon uh, capability country in the east they want uh, to counterbalance the Israeli powers of course that is a huge threat uh, to Israel and uh, that's why uh, you see in this uh, bombings here and bombings there strategic bombings and, and attacks everywhere uh, I'm not saying Israel kill the uh, nuclear scientists but uh, you know it, it's just that Iran has vowed to uh, destroy Israel and all their parades they, they have uh, floats and everything that says down with Israel destroy Israel uh, down with America stuff like that uh, now they don't have enough ur enriched uranium for a bomb but they can quickly climb up to that point now they do have long-range missile capabilities so it would take them a very short period of time to get enough enriched uranium to build a, to make a, a bomb. Uh, I think the program's still going to go on even with the chief scientists being assassinated. Uh, there's other scientists, of course, uh, but uh, you know, keep Israel in your prayers. Uh, that uh, uh, and that Iran does not obtain nuclear weapons. Even if we have a nuclear deal with Iran, I think Iran will still be secretly building a nuclear weapon. Uh, that's just my personal thoughts, of course. But I got a video from Al Jazeera that talks about it. Just wanted to give you this brief update. You're watching and listening to another broadcast of Jerusalem Gate. Here comes the video. An urgent motion passed during an urgent session in Parliament on Tuesday. 251 parliamentarians are demanding that the government stop unrestricted access by IAEA's inspectors to Iranian nuclear sites. This draft bill would also oblige Iran's atomic energy organization to take uranium enrichment to 20 percent. It is now at 4.5 percent, and under the 2015 nuclear agreement, Iran should be producing enriched uranium at only 3.67 percent. The Majlis indeed sends the message to the enemies of Iran that this one-sided game is over. This motion will now have to go to the Guardian Council for approval, but all decisions about Iran's nuclear program are made by another body, that's the Supreme National Security Council. But this move by the conservatively controlled parliament comes at a critical time. On Friday, 63-year-old nuclear scientist Mohsen Fakhrizadeh was assassinated near Tehran when his motorcade came under attack in broad daylight. In a rare move, the government released these never-before-seen photos of Fakhrizadeh receiving the order of service for his role in the 2015 nuclear deal, a fact which was not public knowledge until now. In 2018, U.S. President Donald Trump withdrew from the deal and imposed a series of crippling economic penalties on Iran. As a result, Iran reduced its commitments to the deal in phases, and the access to international atomic energy inspectors is all of what remains as part of the JCPOA deal. There is a lot of pressure on the government inside Iran to respond to the assassination of one of the country's top nuclear and defense officials. I think it's uh, quite telling indicating the fact that Iran's uh, or the Iranian debates on the JCPOA uh, moving to a harsher, uh, uh, you know, situation uh, and rhetoric. And I think this will have an effect on the future dialogues and uh, negotiations on the JCPOA and the compliance with it. 
Tuesday's motion allows the government one month to implement these demands. Article 176 of the Iranian Constitution states it is a matter beyond the three branches of government or the legislative body, which is the Meglis. No political body or branch of power could act beyond that. The latest IAEA report, which came out in November, said that Iran now has 12 times more than the permitted amount of 300 kilograms of enriched uranium, putting its stockpile at nearly 4,000 kilograms. The killing of Mohsen Fakhrizadeh and now this motion in parliament are all just adding pressure to the Rouhani administration in the last few months that they have left in office. President Hassan Rouhani has already said that Iran will avenge the death of the high-ranking official. But what's clear now is that he doesn't want to use the nuclear agreement to do so. Dorsa Jabari, Al Jazeera, Tehran.